Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm gonna try to max out this SOK battery uh, by just cooking up a couple of corn dogs. Uh, my, my son, uh, I gave him the choice of what he wanted to do today and he decided he wanted to do this and he wanted to cook corn dogs. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, so let me go ahead and, and show you all the equipment that we're gonna use to see if we can actually cook corn dogs with one 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery. So let's try it. So the first thing that we're gonna use in our uh, off-grid corn dog cooking experiment is this SOK 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery. Next, it's going to be connected directly to this 5,000 watt, 12 volt pure sine wave inverter. Uh, it's by MX Moonfree. And uh, I wanted to make sure and use an inverter that had plenty of power because I'm not testing this on whether it will work. I am testing this one single battery because we are going to be cooking these corn dogs with this Pampered Chef air fryer. Now I looked at the bottom of this air fryer and it says that it will use 1700 watts. Now theoretically, that battery should not be able to power this um, because one 12 volt 100 amp hour battery should max out at around 1250 to 1300 watts. And so if that Pampered Chef air fryer is gonna pull 1700 watts, we should, we should get an error on this battery and it should shut down. So that's what I want to try out. The next thing I'm going to do is if it does completely fail, um, we're going to try to find a way to get it so we can actually cook our, our corn dogs. So let's go ahead and hook this stuff up and get it started. All right, our battery is now connected to our inverter. Uh, what we're using is we're using two gauge pure copper wire. This wire can handle a max of 130 amps, but if my calculations are right, this, this air fryer will use 132 to 133 amps uh, if we're gonna be using 1700 watts. And, and, the way, and the way I got that, and the way I got that is you divide 1700 by 12.8. That's the nominal voltage of this battery. And that doesn't even include the losses that we're going to get from the inverter. So this is probably actually going to be pulling uh, a lot more than that. The way that we're going to kind of monitor this is we're going to, uh, we're going to open up the app on my phone and we're going to see what the amp draw is. And then we'll see if it, if it goes into like some sort of protection mode, we'll see if that works on the app as well. Okay. Now all we gotta do is, now this is, this is on. It's plugged into the battery, so it is, it's working now, okay? Mm. So what we gotta do is turn it on. Oh. And just go ahead and flip that switch right there. It's turned on. Okay. Oh, and see, and you can see, you can see some stuff from here. So it, this is showing that the, the battery has a 13.5 volt input. The output is 122 volts, so that would be able to power this air fryer. And it shows, it shows how much power we're going to be uh, pushing through the unit and, at, and the, uh, the number of hertz, which is 60. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in the air fryer. All right, the air fryer's on. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and set this air fryer on bake since it's gonna be 350, and that's what the corn dogs cook at. And we're gonna set it for seven minutes. See, but this sets it for eight minutes. Okay, so let's put our corn dogs in there. Okay. Close it up and start, ready? All right, and now we're looking at the uh, app on my phone 
and you can see that the current is 160 amps and this battery is actually doing it which is crazy the mx moon free inverter says that it's powering 1667 watts right now I am very surprised. This battery is not supposed to power more than 100 amps. And it's pushing 158 amps right now. The connectors on this battery are starting to get a little warm. Let's look at the... Uh, The protect states it says that everything is happy there's nothing there's no overcurrents the fan the fan on the inverter has not even turned on yet so um, 1700 watts to this inverter is no big deal but yeah it's still pulling 157 amps Let's make sure it's accurate. Uh oh. Uh oh, it looks like it shut off. Oh no, it didn't. Nope, everything's still running. It's only using five amps, so it looks like the, it heated up. The pampered shift is, is at 350 degrees now and it's just blowing the air in. So it's only using five amps right now. And there it goes. Now it clicks back on. Back up to 100, almost 157 amps. Yeah, 157 amps coming through this two gauge cable. And the cable, the cable is now warm But it's definitely not hot. I see our state of charge on this battery has already gone down 10%. And there we go. It, the air fryer switched back over to just a fan, so it's only using five, it's five amps. And our uh, MX Moon Free says that five amps uh, is only about 67 watts, which is right around what it should be because five times 12 is 60, which is five amps times 12 volts. And we've only got three more minutes to go. All right, it just clicked back on, so our current went back up. Yeah, this battery, this battery is pulling 157 amps and uh, I did not think it would be able to do this. This is incredible. I mean, I really, I, I can't believe that we might actually get to cook these corn dogs with one battery pulling 1700 watts from that battery when the battery is only really rated for uh, you know, pulling around 1250 to 1300 watts. All right, it says that there's only one more minute left on our air fryer. And we've been cooking it with one battery this entire time. All right, and our air fryer is done. We're gonna go ahead and let it finish off. Okay, and that's it, it's, it's done cooking. Okay, so we're gonna take these corn dogs out, see what the temperature is on them. And hopefully they're done. 
Ah, and these corn dogs are not done. They probably need to cook for like another three minutes. And that is probably because that's probably because this thing didn't preheat at all. It just started up. So we're gonna cook it for like uh, three to four more minutes, and then we're gonna go and eat. Let's just do four more minutes. And. I mean, I'm not even concerned about this thing uh, going into any kind of overprotection. I mean, I can't believe it. But this app is showing that we're pulling 154.8 amps from the battery. And it's not shutting off. I mean, state of discharge. We should be getting an overcurrent protection state right now. So I don't know if I should be happy about that or if I should be concerned because I didn't think that this should be, uh, you know, be able to pull this many amps for this long of a, of a duration. But it is, and it doesn't care. All right, we got two minutes left on our cooking time. These, uh, these two gauge cables connecting the battery to the inverter, I mean, they're a bit warm, but it's, I, it's no cause for concern at all. And the fan on this inverter has never turned on. All right, the second round of our cooking is done. And again, uh, this battery did not care at all. It, it pulled 150 amps from the battery and the battery didn't even flinch. The top of the battery is slightly warmer than the sides, but again, no concern. Okay, let's go ahead and take these corn dogs out and see what the temperature is. All right, the corn dogs are up to 135 degrees. Yeah, 123. Ah. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna cook them for two or three more minutes, and then uh, and then it's time to eat. Okay, this is the third round of cooking, and um, well, we got one minute left. I noticed that on our app, we've got 73% uh, left in our battery, so it looks like it's gonna take about 30% of the battery just to cook a couple of corn dogs. But I've cooked them for a season. We did eight minutes and then we did four minutes and then this is another four minutes. So it's been running, yeah, for 16 minutes. Uh, off and on with 1700 watts. So that's, I mean, to me, that's, that's incredible. All right, it's over. So once it turns off, I'll go ahead and pull those corn dogs out and get something to eat. Whew, yeah, and these corn dogs are done. 167.
Now, it probably wouldn't have taken that much time if I would have just set it for like 12 or 13 minutes. That way I, I wasn't releasing all the heat from the oven uh, every single time I opened and shut the door. But the moral of the story is this battery right here, this SLK battery, uh, combined with an inverter that you know can power 1700 watts easily, which I know this 5000 watt one from NX Moonfree could handle the job. And like I said, the fan never turned on. This thing is not hot or warm to the touch at all. These cables are a little warm to the touch, but nothing to be concerned about. If you were gonna do this uh, very often, like every day, I would definitely go with a thicker gauge cable. These two gauge can do 130 amps, but right now we're, you know, we're pulling we're pulling 150 amps. So I would definitely go with maybe I don't know, probably a one out gauge cable uh, minimum, probably two out gauge to be very safe. And you should definitely have a fuse. Uh, you would want to fuse up this wire with the proper fuse size. So even though, I mean, you would think that with this battery, uh, you know, it's a hundred amp discharge maximum. So that's only 1300 watts max. So you would think that you would need to get 125 amp fuse. But if we had 125 amp fuse on here, it would have blown because we pushed 150 amps through there. So that's just something to take into consideration is that your fuse is really to protect your wires. So these wires can handle 130 amps. So you would want probably 130 to 150 amp fuse. I am super amazed that this SLK battery powered up and ran this 1700 watt air fryer for 16 minutes. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about how I wired this up or, or any information on these products, please leave them in the, uh, in the comments below. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.